51. Holoprosencephaly is most likely associated with A. Trisomy 13 B. Trisomy 18 C. Trisomy 21 D. None of the above The answer is A. Trisomy 13 52. If you are sagittal on the maternal abdomen, what is the position of the fetus? A. Breach B. Transverse head maternal right C. Transverse head maternal left D. Cephalic So off the bat, you know this baby's transverse, so A and D are not your answer. The fetal heart points to the left, so above this would be the head, and below this would be the feet. So the answer is transverse head maternal left. Number 53. This placenta is A. Posterior B. Anterior C. Fundal or D. Previa The answer is A. Posterior Number 54. The lemon and banana sign are associated with A. Down syndrome B. Microcephaly C. Spina bifida or D. Microcephaly The answer is C. Spina bifida. What is shown in this image? A. Normal transabdominal uterus. B. Adenomyosis. C. Adenomyomatosis. Or D. Subserosal fibroid. The answer is B. Adenomyosis. This is a transvaginal image, so A is not your answer. Uh, if you have Two answers usually in a question where both words look very similar. Typically, one of them is going to be the answer. Adenomyomatosis is when biliary crystals get stuck in the gallbladder wall in the rokitansky ashoff sinuses. So adenomyosis is your answer. Number 56. What phase is the endometrium in? A. Early proliferative. B. Late proliferative. C. Secretory. Or D. None of the above. The answer is C. Secretory. The endometrium is thick and hyperechoic. Number 57. Which is not a part of the fallopian tube? A. Interstitial. B. Isthmus. C. Ampulla avator. Or B. Fimbriae. The answer is C. Ampulla of batter. That's where the common bowel duct enters the duodenum. Number 58. The floor of the pelvis is made up of A. Piriformis muscle. B. Gluteus minimus C. Myometrium or D. Levator ani muscles The answer is D. Levator ani muscles Number 59. Which of the following amniotic fluid indices is considered polyhydramnios? A. 5 cm B. 7 cm C. 13 cm or D. 26 cm the answer is D, 26 centimeters. Remember, polyhydramnios means increased amniotic fluid. Number 60. Which of the following is least likely to be associated with polyhydramnios? A, omphalocele. B, duodenal atresia. C, maternal diabetes. Or D, renal agenesis. The answer is D, renal agenesis. If the fetus does not have kidneys, they will not be creating urine, which contributes to amniotic fluid, and they will have oligohydramnios or anhydramnios. Number 61. Ovulation occurs when the dominant follicle reaches A, 1 cm, B, 1.5 cm, C, 2 cm, or D, 2.5 cm. The answer is D, 2.5 cm. 62. Which hormone is measured in a pregnancy test? A. Alpha fetoprotein. B. Luteinizing hormone. C. Human chorionic gonadotropin. Or D. Follicle stimulating hormone. The answer is C. Human chorionic gonadotropin, or ACG. Number 63. This scan of a 90 year old female reveals A. Uterine agenesis. B. Ovarian cyst. C. Normal prepubertal uterus or D. Mesenteric cyst? The answer is C. Normal prepubertal uterus. Before puberty, the female uterus is very small and tubular.
64. The phase of the menstrual cycle following ovulation is A. Early proliferative B. Late proliferative C. Menstrual or D. Secretory The answer is D. Secretory 65. The most common cause of postmenopausal bleeding is A. Endometrial cancer B. Endometritis C. Endometrioma or D. Endometrial hyperplasia The answer is D. The most common cause is endometrial hyperplasia 66. Which of the following should not be seen in a postmenopausal patient? A. Endometrial carcinoma B. Endometrial hyperplasia C. Corpus luteum cyst D. Fibroids The answer is C. Corpus luteum cyst, which is usually seen in menstruating women. 67. A patient with a history of GI cancer presents with bilateral large adnexal masses. What kind of tumor will it most likely be? A. Serous cyst adenoma B. Mucinous cyst adenoma D. Krukenberg tumor or D. Cystic teratoma The answer is C. Krukenberg tumor 68. The most common site for an adnexal mass is A. Fallopian tubes B. Broad ligament C. Paraovarian or D. Ovary the answer is D, ovary. Number 69. You scan a 20-year-old sexually active woman. She has fever and a tubular structure in the adnexa. And a tubular fluid-filled structure in the adnexa with hyperemia and low-level internal echoes. What pathology do you suspect? A, hydrosalpings. B, paraovarian cyst. C, corpus luteum. Or D, pyosalpings. The answer is D, pile salpings, which would be pus within the fallopian tubes. Number 70. A chocolate cyst is A, A, dermoid, B, endometrioma, C, hemorrhagic cyst, or D, pile salpings. The answer is B, endometrioma. Number 71. What is another name for polycystic ovarian syndrome? A. Stein Leventhal syndrome. B. Patel syndrome. C. Meckel Gruber syndrome. Or D. Fitzhugh Curtis syndrome. The answer is A. Stein Leventhal syndrome. Number 72. This finding is a result of dysgenesis of the A. Wolfian ducts. B. Mullerian ducts. C. Paramesonephric ducts or D. Both B and C? The answer is D. Both B and C. This is a didelphic uterus, which is an anomaly of Mullerian development. The Mullerian ducts are also known as the param are also called the paramesonephric ducts, and the Wolfian ducts, which is the male counterpart, is called the mesonephric ducts. Number 73. You scan a woman that is three months pregnant by last menstrual period. On ultrasound, you find an embryo measuring eight weeks by ultrasound dates with no fetal heartbeat and an abnormal yolk sac. This likely represents A. Wrong last menstrual period B. Normal eight-week embryo C. Missed abortion or D. None of the above The answer is D. None of the above Number 74 an early embryo consisting of 16 cells in a solid ball contained within the zona pellucida is a A. Bilaminar disc B. Zygote C. Marula or D. Blastocyst The answer is C. Marula Number 75. A heterotopic pregnancy is A. An ovarian ectopic B. Subsequent ectopic and intrauterine pregnancy, C. Fallopian ectopic, or D. Abdominal ectopic. The answer is B. Subsequent ectopic and intrauterine pregnancy. So an ectopic pregnancy and a live intrauterine pregnancy. 
This ends the third 25 questions.